Welcome to Money in Tech. Today we're joined by Leif Taylor, president of COG, and Lamar Wilson, CEO of Love Will Inc., both founders of FIVA. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Hey, how you doing? Good, man, thanks. So tell us a little bit about FIVA. So right now, FIVA is the um, only fully operational iOS uh, wallet um, that is that we can distribute freely. Um, it's not in the App Store, but we distribute it freely um, through our COG cooperative. Excellent. So and it is the sexiest wallet in the world. I've, I've heard it's the sexiest wallet in the world. So how do you? So how does that work? It's for iOS, but it's not in the Apple iOS store. Yeah. Um, currently, right now, iOS um, is adverse. Our Apple is adverse to Bitcoin wallets, um, sending transactions and things like that. But because we have a cooperative, we can distribute our application, any proprietary applications, to uh, people within the cooperative. So, we, so FIVA is the first of the, the applications that we have developed for the cooperative. So is there a limit on the amount of people that you can share that with or the amount of people that can be within the cooperative? No, uh, not at all. Uh, people have the misconception that there's like a limited uh, cap on how many people we can share with within the enterprise, but that, that is no longer accurate. Okay, so do you think there's any chance that Apple's just going to say, like, hey, guys, you're just trying to get around this rule and we're going to step in and try and stomp it out? Well, I mean, we, the idea of the cooperative was uh, there far before we even decided to have to distribute that way. I think everything kind of fell into place like it, like it was. We had the idea of the cooperative and how Bitcoin um, and the freedom that Bitcoin provides for, uh, for monetary use um, could help in a, co a collaborative setting and then Apple decided they were going to ban iOS apps which means that we just kind of fell into place and were able to um, you know use the cooperative to distribute the application. Excellent so I've heard you say that it's so simple that even your grandma can use it could you explain that? Oh uh, yeah so uh, I gave my mom some Bitcoin for Christmas um, and she is a grandmother um, but I gave her some Bitcoin for Christmas and uh, the wallet space wasn't really great for her because you know a lot of the design is it was really tech heavy it was all around addresses and things like that um and so what we did was we try to abstract a lot of that away and make it really simple just to send and receive bitcoin um and make it you know pretty and, and like i keep saying sexy um to, to make it really nice for people to use and make it feel like something they could use on a daily basis so sexy and simple but is it safe yeah, yes. of course, definitely safe. Uh, we everything is encrypted on the user's end. We don't store any of the, the private keys or anything like that. Uh, people always ask us that question, but we we literally let you be your own bank. Okay, so people often describe it as either a, a blockchain style or a Coinbase style wallet. So this would definitely be a blockchain style wallet. Correct. Right. Yeah, blockchain style. We just we just store the encrypted keys on our server. Um, it, everything is encrypted and uh, formed on the uh, device itself. So how does this compare to CryptoKit and other competitors? I mean, we like CryptoKit and those guys. Uh, we just think that the way we're doing it, the idea is, is the vision is really, really uh, big. Um, like we said, FIBA is just the very first application out of all the applications that we are going to start developing for the cryptocurrency space. Um, we really wanted to get a hot wallet out there to get people used to using and transacting in Bitcoin. So FIBA was the is the first idea that comes out of that vision. The vision for us is to really allow people to be their own bank and to have control over their own money and to be able to use it as, as easily and as quickly as they would um, their debit card or whatever. Yeah, so, FIBA is just like a sexy tool. Uh, like you said, there's going to be more applications coming. Uh, you got to have be able to spend your Bitcoin, so that's why we moved that out first. All right, so I heard you integrated with Vinny at Gift. Um, yeah. How's that going? Yeah, man, we, we love that partnership. Um, that was another thing. It was uh, part of us thinking about the vision of the FIBA wallet was not just putting apps, just putting anybody could put any kind of app into our wallet. We wanted to make sure that the apps that, that were put into our wallet really benefited the members of the cooperative. So by adding gift, um, it allows people to use Bitcoin at places that not, uh, don't necessarily adopt Bitcoin just yet. So like, uh, I think one of our biggest sellers is Whole Foods. People are, can buy their groceries really fast using our wallet. They're in the store, they just pull out the wallet and they don't have to go between two different websites. Um, and I think that was, like I said, it's part of our whole initiative to make sure that Bitcoin is really easy to transact. So how's that integrated? Do you uh, use your app and you get the gift certificate from within your app or do you have to hit a button and then switch over to gift? 
No, all the all the gift cards that are available are directly within our app. So you go to our app, you hit the plus section, it pops up gift, um, and then you just go through, uh, browse all the gift cards, and within the application, because we're in the wallet, you hit the button and say buy now. You pick what what uh, what price you want to buy. You buy now, and then it's it's ready to go. Excellent. Uh, any plans to add either new integrations or new altcoins? Dogecoin coming? Litecoin, Litecoin is is on the horizon. Um, we've had some requests for Litecoin, uh, Dogecoin, uh, to be honest, uh, we, we really like Dogecoin, but we trying to be secretive about Dogecoin a little bit because we want to do some real cool stuff because we like to have fun. Um, and Dogecoin is like a fun coin. Um, but yeah, Litecoin is, is really close on the horizon. We are uh, actually utilizing a service called Block Cipher. Um, they have really uh, helped us out with trying to shore up some of our back end. We use blockchain.info as well, but Block Cipher, blockchain.info, and um, we're working with them to try to make sure that our infrastructure is sound. And Block Cipher just announced their whole Litecoin integration. So Litecoin is definitely on the horizon. Okay, so we got COG, we've got LifeWheel, and we've got Fiva Wallet. So can you tell me how they're all connected? Okay, COG is the cooperative that, that we developed. Uh, and the idea behind COG was to give back. Um, a lot of, you know, again, we talked about the philosophy behind Love Will, uh, but the, the idea behind COG is like, okay, what's the best way that we can help people? And it's, it's really revenue sharing. It's giving them back, uh, rewarding people for being members, uh, rewarding people for being part of the network. We have a, this idea that we're developing behind an ad network, and when we receive in revenues, then we'll have revenue share with the members of the cooperative. And also, it's the impetus behind FIVA and the way we design FIVA. Uh, our target audience, like you said, uh, we're actually going after people that aren't necessarily, you know, nerds, so to speak. So we want to make it as simple and as easy, easy as possible. We do. We go around the state here locally and uh, talk to people about education on Bitcoin and how to use Bitcoin. So we made it with them in mind. Uh, so COG is a cooperative that, that's focused on giving people uh, revenue share back as well as incentivizing them to help share the wallet. And in a nutshell, Love Will creates applications for COG and other people as well. Love Will is a software house. Um, pretty easy. And FIVA is the first application yeah. from Love Wheel. It's a product. Yeah, it's the, it's the first product of Love Wheel. So Love Wheel makes applications, uh, particularly for the, the cooperative, and then um, FIBA is the first product. So, Excellent. And they're all separate companies. Each one of them is a yeah. separate. I mean, not FIBA's not a separate company, but Love Wheel and Co Cooperative are two separate companies. Okay, very cool. Um, what stage are you guys at with FIBA right now? I mean, FIBA, we... we uh, I mean, we look at it as still being in beta because we're still listening to our users. We're still listening to our um, the, to the members of the COD cooperative, but because it's still in flux, pretty much. Um, but as far as it being a solid, secure wallet, yes, it, it is that. But that's the non-beta part. That that part is version 1.0 or whatever. Um, but the rest of it, um, as far as us adding different co uh, corporations and partnerships, that stuff is in beta still. So yeah, just think of it as a as a growing tool. Yeah. Um, so that's the way we look at it. Cool. So tell me about Love Will. So uh, the, uh, go ahead. I let Lay talk. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, Love Will is is really just a culmination of just our philosophy on life and our philosophy on just the way we operate ourselves. Uh, love Will is encompassing. It, the idea literally is to spread love. Uh, we have ideas behind the giving economy, potluck capitalism, and that's actually uh, how the cooperative sprang forth as well because uh, here where, where we are right now is called the Ignite Project. And we do a lot of things with community. Uh, we give back, give you know, free tech lessons, have people come in. We got 14, 15 year old interns, those kinds of things. So Love Will is just a combination of how we live. Uh, anything else? Yeah, it's, I mean, it, it really is just, we have a philosophy that uh, love will change the world, like seriously. And so we feel like if we can uh, share love, spread love, um, which is literally about giving and, and teaching people things and, and helping out the community that all of that stuff will come back to us as well. So, And that's why we have this whole cycle um, of, of goodness, of, of gratuity, or whatever you want to call COG, um, to where if, if we give it out, it'll come back. And we just really believe that. That's our philosophy on life. So Love Will is really a company that we're, we are building applications that will help you. 
So they're, they're, the applications we make will help you deal in Bitcoin better. The applications we make, help, uh, make will allow you to be more secure with your money. Um, and you won't have to go and uh, knock on the door to get a bank account. You don't have to go fill out a bunch of paperwork and give over a baby or nothing like that uh, just to transact in Bitcoin. Bitcoin. So we just want to make it all about you and make sure that you are able to do the things that you want to do with your money. Excellent. No, it sounds good. We'll definitely be watching. Thanks for coming on the show, guys. Oh, yeah. Thanks. We appreciate it. Thank you, Jerry.